Finding terms and totals given a ratio of two whole numbers. In the examples in this section, we'll have word problems that give us a ratio of whole numbers. For example, if I had two to five. The questions are going to ask us then to find terms of another ratio. Often what it will give us, it'll give us one of the terms in the other ratio. And we can use the method of equivalent ratios to figure out what is the missing term. For example, if I want to change the ratio of 2 to 5 to 6 to something, I have to figure out, well, what did I multiply the 2 by to get to the 6? In this case, I had to multiply by 3, so I'm also going to multiply the 5 by 3. And that's going to give me 15. So I know that my new ratio is 6 to 15. There will also be some examples where I give you a ratio and I give you a total of what I want the new ratio to be. For example, if I had 1 to 3, and I tell you in my new ratio, there's a total of 12. In order to do this, I would have to set up a problem where I have my unit of 1, my unit of 3 for my old ratio, and then I have to figure out, well, they have to come together to be a total of 12. Well, how many units are there total, and what does each unit represent? I have 1, 2, 3, 4 different units. And if I do a simple division, I can do 12 over 4, which means that each unit has to represent 3. So in order to change this ratio, I can multiply each of these numbers by 3, and that's going to give me a ratio of 3 to 9. And if I add these together, I can see that 3 plus 9 gives us that total of 12.